Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Paragon and our last part of our three-part series going over Paragon. Um, uh, this part, last part, we are gonna go over uh, uh, deck building. Sorry, I uh, just had to fix something. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go over deck building, um, you know, picking cards, uh, upgrades and all that. Um, uh, I actually had how you shop um, and start items on this list as well, but since we did actually go over that in a pre previous video, uh, in part two, uh, when, you know, we, we were taking a look at the map, uh, anyway, or, you know, uh, uh, I really don't have to do that, we could just go over it very lightly, I guess, um, what, you, what you use the items for and all that. Um, so yeah, here we are at the uh, deck screen. Um, you just go to profiles, and you have your overview, heroes, and decks. Um, and you have the uh, first five decks, and then you can unlock more down here in the bottom right if you want. You can buy some slots. Um, um, but yeah, also we actually have 25 decks that we were given. Uh, I think all everyone who's playing in the last uh, open test actually got 25 packs that they can open uh, to get some more cards. We are going to end on that though, um, just so you know. Uh, so if we, it doesn't matter if we get some cool cool, cool cards from there, but uh, but yeah, we just jump into, uh, uh, into a new deck here. So you sit new deck and then you have, so you have five decks uh, to start with and uh, so you have to kind of pick and choose, you know, who you want to play, who you want to have deck for, uh, who you want to, you know, run starter deck with and all that. Uh, if you don't want to buy more slots, though, uh, you can always do that. Um, anywho, we're going to build one for Gideon, actually, I think. Um, yeah, let's do that. Just save whatever to get us in. So this is where you actually pick your cards. Um, these are all the cards we have. Blah, 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 blah. Was that that looks cool? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, anywho, uh, so you know, here we have a filter as well. If you want to be that hardcore, um, prime cards. These are, I think, yeah, unique cards that you can only have one of. Uh, so uh, you have to pick and choose which one you want. Uh, Everyone, all of them have 100% bonus damage. Uh, so the 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 first stat is unique, uh, different, and passive versus minions to minions versus 100 damage versus m minion to minions. It's weird. Uh, or how oh, you deal. Oh, you make, I think you make them deal 100% more damage, you know, to the enemy team minions, maybe. Uh, structures to minions, alright, whatever, whatever. We'll, we'll pick the Warlord, it doesn't really matter. And here you have the equipment, um, uh, equipments, you know, your uh, harvesters, your potions, your wards, your... Uh, um, you know, regular items that you can upgrade, and then you have your upgrades over here, when where you have your you know different big ones like these that costs four points to uh, you know put in. This one is five points. That is huge. Twenty life steal. Um, but yeah, so as you can see here in the uh, um, top left, you have uh, 40, ca 40 cards that you can put in. Um, so um just, just you know just go nuts with what you think you need uh you can you can do it exactly however you want if you want to have you know i can all add two harvest keys you know that's you know always you know if you don't need them um because can, can, can i i want to remove one can I, all right whatever remove oh there you go because you know uh, they recharge the base, so uh, you only need one, I guess, and then you can have as well as one of uh, 
each potion because they as well recharge at base um, and you have three charges so one if you buy one you have three charges so you can use it three times before you need to go back and recharge it uh, so keep that in mind as well which is pretty nice but that is pretty much basic you know um, pick your prime uh, pick your equipment uh, you know potion harvesters uh, wards uh, I can only have one scout ward doesn't say that it uh, recharges but I guess you get one back you know like when the, that one dies I don't know it doesn't say that how long it lasts either uh, whatever I haven't actually tried the scouts or tried the wards so who cares but all right uh, so let's pick some items um, you know like uh, you just have to check what you want you know this is just purely preference preference of course some cards are better than others but you want to have some uh, yeah portal stone teleports and structure oh that's pretty cool didn't actually know I had that one um, um, so yeah if you want some uh, like some protection or if you want to go like attack speed damage this is physical damage now so that might not be super good so we can just filter this for uh, what if we can yeah we can check more a lot of um, physical no energy energy no uh, maybe attack speed I don't like attack speed yeah that's, that's nice uh, energy armor appears nothing all right physical or energy then so here we have some some cards that are pretty good for us because you know they deal energy damage um uh, that's a it's a prime card so we don't, don't want to take that because we already have a prime card uh, but yeah just pick some things you know whatever but you do want to have like a good variety um because later on you need upgrades same thing here you need to have a variety have some ones have some twos you know um, and some threes and then you need your fucking good ones and then you I should I'm just picking shit now because we're just gonna go over this you know doesn't really matter and then you just save it and um, that's how you build decks pretty much there's not much to it obviously you want to when you actually do this yourself you really want to sit take your time pick your cards carefully what kind of build you want to go for do you want to go attack speed on um, someone uh, then you want to you know get, get some attack speed and uh, you know life steal if you want to go some life steal we'll check that and here we have your life steal cards uh, for building heavy dam or heavy you know armor. So you have some physical energy armor. I don't want to just do it like that. And uh, yeah, and then you can you know list them by points as well. I don't have any anyone that's late game eight, nine, ten points. Damn. All right, that's a lot. Um, but yeah, that is you know pretty basic how you build cards. <clears throat> or how you build a deck it's not really much to say about it you know it's something you have to do you know by yourself um, but read through them you know check what the bonus is you know 50% crit bonus super I want that on my dude but since we're all right let's try and actually make a deck then shall we Let's actually start with uh, harvester mana or health mana whatever <clears throat> let's pick that uh, we need prime I actually like the sound of that one and uh, energy rating cooldown reduction I like cooldown reduction and you can actually when because they're not unique you can have two of these items you can you can build two chronos discs if you want fully stack them um that's you know your choice um sure uh, 
Harvest replacement time, so that's pretty cool. Gonna have that though. Unique active shadow ward. So that is also, you know, um, I guess you want to put these items in your active slots and not your passive slots. Um, because you want to be able to use that shadow ward, for example. So put that in an active slot where you can actually activate the item. Or, um, yeah, the item, kind of equipment, you know, thing. Um, but yeah, just fix some here. It doesn't really matter. We need to get some health. So that, that, whatever. I don't give a shit right now. But. Advanced Spark. They, they, the pictures are really cool though. Like this one. It's one of my favorite. It's fucking 19.5 attack speed. It's cool. Whatever. I can't be fucking dealing with that. <clears throat> anyway, that is how you build the deck, you know, in the uh, simplest form, I guess. Uh, so. Yeah. That's a nice item. Whatever. Let's just go and open some decks. I think. Don't save. Delete. Delete. But yeah, do keep in mind you can only have five, so build carefully. You can always redo them as well. <clears throat> if you want. Uh, but anyway, let's open some packs, I think. Uh, so if you do play that hearthstone this is very familiar to you so you can just press these and they will uh, pop up or you can just press uh, the uh, reveal all button hmm. it's pretty cool so we're just gonna see if we can get some cool ones sage ward sages ward Cool. Growth. So that is something I've actually not learned. That's, that's something I need to learn. But those growth, corruption, intellect, universal, those stuff does. I've actually not seen anything that actually relates to them other than the cards. Want to get some uh, some sick items? Something that makes me super badass on the battlefield. Fury. Just getting a lot of duplicates. Doesn't really matter. I think for the, uh, I actually don't know. Early access is happening soon. I don't, I'm not sure if they're gonna wipe um, everyone's cards, because this would be super unfair for um, people who are not in the open test or online test. I mean, uh, because we're you know getting a pretty major head start on uh, cards and stuff. Dude, no luck at all. I'm just getting shit, dude. I like that you can actually see this. That's a green one. Yeah. I really like the card art. That is awesome.
Hey, I'm not getting shit, dude. I'm not even sure if they have anything better in these packs than uh, uncommons. Just upgrades, health upgrades. Come on, bro. Last one. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We can do it. Boom. Didn't get shit. Oh, that's pretty cool. I guess. Final region. Alright. Well, I was, guess that was uh, kind of short and sweet um, deck overview on how to build decks. Um, it's pretty simple it might get a bit overwhelming when you first do it but if you know what you want to be build you know how you want to build your character uh, it does get pretty simple you know like <clears throat> if you're playing twin blast you might want to get some more you know like auto attack or not auto attack I mean some attack speed some crits some damage so you just you know take those cards and upgrades uh, pretty much and uh, you just go in and you just go ham you know do your thing so uh, yeah that was just an, an overview of uh, how the deck building works um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, thank you all for watching thumb it up subscribe leave a comment and uh, don't forget to spread the virus and I hope you enjoy my Paragon videos because there's a shit ton coming and uh, yeah see you next time guys bye